Hey guys, uh, Bushcraft Woods Devil here. Wanted to uh, recommend this uh, magazine again. I know I've shown it before, American Frontiersman. Just a, a really excellent magazine. A lot of good articles, both uh, modern uh, era and a lot of historical information. And a lot of skills stuff in here. And um, there's an article that I want to recommend if you happen to pick this up or have picked it up called uh, The Core 5 and it's an interview with a um, uh, primitive skills uh, instructor James Gibson. Now Mr. Gibson has uh, collaborated with SE Knives and designed some of their blades and uh, he also operates his own forge and school and uh, seems to be a very knowledgeable gentleman with a lifelong experience. Uh, it's got some article the article has uh, information on making cordage and something that caught my eye which I've always been kind of a fan of is hoko knives little um, knives made using a piece of stick and a um, stone, a sharp stone uh, for instance but uh, this one had a can lid and I've never tried a can lid that I can remember so I I decided to give it a whirl so I made one like the article and this is bound with um, paracord so you just take a uh, sharp can lid and uh, bind it into a split piece of stick and you have a kind of an ulu knife that you could process uh, stuff with and then I made more of a hoko and this one I made a little more primitive I used um, a natural cordage and then I coated it with uh, pine resin to uh, make it more durable and um, I think of the two, I like this one better because I can manipulate it a lot easier than trying to hold this. But this would be great, I think, for processing food items because it's like an ulu. This one's more of a, of a uh, hand-friendly uh, type design, I think. But anyway, um, these magazines, they're great magazines, full of information does you no good if you don't get out and try these skills. And I want to thank Mr. Gibson for this article because I really had a ball playing around with these um, these uh, can lid knives. So using them to whittle down some wood to a point, make some shavings, shaving off a piece of of uh, coyote bush here, but you're going to need a sharpening stone. They go, you're going to have to. It's so tinny. You're going to have to pound it flat. It's going to bend, and then uh, you have to put an edge back on it. So having a a stone that you can tune up your edge is going to be an essential. And you can get that down the creek. So, can we make a fire? I don't know, let's see. Nope. I'm not having any luck with the, the tin here. So you may need your scraper. Uh, at least I'm not having any luck. Maybe you will. But if you've got your uh, magnesium rod, hopefully you've got your your scraper with you, so you can scrape it.
Well, we had it going there. <laughs> but anyway, that's the fun of practicing skills. Get out there and, and use them and do them and learn. Anyway, that's enough for today, so yeah, check that out, American Frontiersman. This is the um, winter, winter 2022 edition, full of great articles, full of great historical stuff, and uh, definitely check out The Core 5 by Craig Haney. Uh, great article, just a lot of great information. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.